As we begin, what I'd like you to do is just kind of out in front of you, if you'll put that event that triggered you, because I don't need to know anything about that event, but okay. if you've got an event, and as you even think about it now, yeah. do you have that sense of reacting to it? Yeah. Just, it, 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 it gets in like so quickly and just pushes buttons. Just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it probably is something that violates your values in, in some way or another. Yes. It's, it's unacceptable. It's yeah. just not what you need. And yet when it occurs, it can just get you yeah. going. Really out of school. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it'd be interesting to know what it is and how it works. <laughs> Do you want to know what it is? Okay. <laughs> no, we're into resourcefulness here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're imagining. So what I'd like you to do in just a moment, we'll come back to that, so you can put that aside for, for just now. Because what I'd like you to do, I'm just going to say some words. And what I'm going to do is to kind of walk through this power zone, this, this, this place of, of your power zone, your, your mental powers, your emotional powers, your speaking and behavioral powers, so as to bring to your awareness a, a new and a fresh, just awareness of that. And so you can close your eyes to do this or you can keep them open. But what I'd like you to do is just kind of go inside and be aware of your mental powers. You've got mental powers, don't you? Powers yeah. to think, yeah. to imagine, to remember, to wonder, to question, to explore. Just all kinds of mental, all the things mentally you can do. And you may want to scan the, the times of your life, all the events that occurred, that whatever occurs... You always have thoughts about it, mm. and they're your thoughts. Yep. And whatever happens, you can, you can make a picture of it in your mind, or maybe have repeat yeah. sounds in your mind, and you can have feelings in your body about it. That whatever goes on mentally, you can represent it. You can say words about it inside your mind. You can think about it. You can do problem solving. There's so many things mentally you can do. What mental powers mm. on the screen of your mind and all the frames that you have. As you think about it, whatever happens, you can have feelings about it. Your body can register somatically. You can have joy and love and peace and gentleness. You can have anger and fear and worry. All the emotions. You're quite a feeler, mm -hmm. full of emotions. Sometimes tense, sometimes relaxed, sometimes, sometimes upset and frustrated, maybe even angry, maybe hateful, and sometimes loving and compassionate and empathetic, and your heart goes out. So you have a mind that thinks and a heart that feels. Mm -hmm. Those are your two private powers. And whatever happens, you also have verbal powers, mm -hmm. linguistic powers. With words, you can curse, bless, mm -hmm. question. Say poetry. Sing music with words. All the things you can do with words. You can bond with people and you can disbond. You can explore and state. You can negotiate and sell. All the verbal thing, all the linguistic powers. And, and the powers of, of language to create all those maps inside. And the power of words to create feelings. Such powers linguistically. And as you think and as you feel and as you say, you also have action powers. You've got a body that can do things. You, you raised your hand and you said some words and you came up here and such. The behaviors, you can embrace and hug and, and you, can, you can open a book and you can drive a car and just all the behaviors, and so behavioral powers. So as you think about all these powers and just represent them and, and have a sense of awareness of them, if, if you just let them be in, inside of kind of a bubble, mm -hmm. a space, a territory that's yours, your power zone, mm -hmm. how much do you have a sense right now of your powers, of your response powers from zero to, to ten? Eight. Eight. So very high. A, a mm -hmm. real strong sense of that. Mm -hmm. If it was an energy field, what would that feel like for you? And you may have words for that or just have an awareness of what it would feel like as an energy field. Alive, electric, warm. Okay, okay. So just imagine that, that sphere, that bubble, a power bubble <laughs> that you take anywhere you want to go. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you to use those powers to do something. 
I'd like you to think about something that every fiber of your whole being can say, mine. Something small, simple, so that you get that distinct feeling, mine. And there's not a doubt, there's not a question in your whole physio. So it may be small, simple, like a toothbrush. So if I said, let me use that, and you had the feeling, mine. Or, or it could be underclothes and things like that. <laughs> and I said, let me use that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And you could have that feeling, mine. Okay. So we don't want to think something too big like a house, because then you think, well, but the bank kind of yeah. too. Yeah. Right. So something small, simple, that every fiber of your being can say, mine. Yeah. You got something? Yeah. Okay. What I'd like to do is to have you use your powers. You use your mental powers to represent it. Yeah. Use your verbal powers and emotional powers to say, mine. 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 Okay. It's mine. When I say it, I... Uh, I kind of go into my childlike state and go, mine! All right, okay. <laughs> you know, as a child, it was mine, I'm not going to share yeah. it, but as an adult, yeah. it's mine to share. Yeah. So give me mine with as much passion, intensity. It's mine. Mine. <laughs> so as you do that, notice what that makes you feel. Mine. Mine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have that sense of ownership? Yeah. Mine. Yeah. How much do you have that sense of ownership? Oh, intense. Okay, very yeah, intense. It's mine. Okay. I want to touch yeah. your arm right there yeah. so we can anchor this feeling. So, okay. so do that a couple more times, and I'm going to anchor this yeah. as, a, as a state. Yeah. It's mine. Mine. Yes, okay. mine. mine. <laughs> okay. So, just close your eyes and feel that. Bring your arms in there with that anchor that you have. Mine. I want you to feel this about your thoughts. My Mine. Thoughts. My mental powers. My mental powers. And feel this yes. about your emotions. My emotional powers. My emotional powers. My emotions. My emotions. My language, my linguistic powers. My language. My linguistic powers. Mine. Mine. My actions. My actions. My behavioral powers. My behavioral powers. So you have a sense of ownership over that yes. power zone? Yes. Okay, so we're going to put, put these powers inside of ownership. Mm -hmm. You have that sense? Mine. 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 So with all this now, what I'd like you to do, holding that intact, mm -hmm. noticing how this state, whatever you want to call that state, mm -hmm. responsibility, response power, power zone, empowerment, Take that state, and now with, the, with those eyes, with that breath, look at that event, and notice how this can begin to transform that trigger, that stimulus. Yeah. And in this state, how will you respond? Completely differently. Okay. Is this enough? Is this sufficient to handle that stimulus? That yeah. button pushing event? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can actually see a completely different event. Okay. Totally different event. Okay. Than the one that occurred. Yes. So do you like this state of ownership of your powers? Yeah. yeah. Your empowerment? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how to appreciate things? You know how to just melt an appreciation yeah. of something? Yeah, absolutely. Take that feeling of appreciation, bring yeah. it to this. Yeah. Could you appreciate this oh, ownership yeah. of yeah. your powers? Yeah. Really appreciate it. Yeah. But this is your right to your voice, to your mm -hmm. mind, to your feelings, to your responses. That even if they're pushing a button of finding how you did something wrong, you still have the right to be wrong. Yeah. And to say so and to feel whatever you feel. Yeah. And to do it differently. Okay. Yeah. And if you have this power bubble, you probably have a sense of, of distinction between what you're responsible for and who, to whom you're responsible. Because what if responsible for your responses, your responses for yourself, is that you're responsible for your thoughts, yes. your feelings, your yes. speech, your behavior. Yeah. Are you responsible for the way I think no. or feel or anybody else? No. So what if you had Absolutely. that line? What if you had that line, I'm responsible for myself to people, but mm -hmm. never for yes. the way they think yeah. or feel, speak or behave. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Will you be able to remember this? Yes. Maybe you'll forget this. You'll forget that anchor. Will you keep it? Yes. Is it yours? Yes, it is mine. Maybe it's I not want really. It. Maybe it. it's mine. Maybe I gave it to you and, and I can take it back. No. What if I try? <laughs> <laughs> what if I try? Well, I rather like it, so I'm not about to give it well, up. You might like it, but I'll take it away. <clears throat> <laughs> can you keep it? Yes. How will you keep it? And you may not say that out loud, but just how will you keep it? How will you keep it when those events occur? To remember it. Do you have a way inside of remembering the ownership of your powers and appreciating that? So let's imagine going through this next week, this next month, the rest of this year, knowing that you can turn this thing on anytime you want. How's that? Terrific. Okay. Are you Ideal. aligned? Are you aligned with that? Yes. Fully aligned. Any objections? No. You're aligned with that? Yes. And you're going to keep it? Yes. Well, well, just go forth in resourcefulness then. Thank you.